happening because it's like it's effectively winners finals. Yeah, yeah. Someone's getting out winners. Someone's getting out not winners well, or like no, not this, top. In this case, they're both coming out winners. You know. All right. Top two get out winner side. So it's you and Sunfish that came out losers. Yeah. Okay. I saw Sunfish getting uh. <laughs> I saw some fish getting uh, killed by a pit, uh, dark pit, so I was like, wait, did he lose? No, 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 he won. All right. I'm pretty sure he did. I, I could be wrong. <laughs> uh, Bloody night surprise third place. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, Let's go. no. Okay, so we got Duck Hunt versus Toon Link. Uh, okay, so if, if you've talked to Chrome, and you know how Chrome feels about small characters, especially Toon Link, he hates going DK against. And fair enough. Toon Link I, has a very small, like, ding-dong percentage. Not to mention, let's be honest, uh, Toon Link can just run away from DK all day, and wh what's he going to do? Yeah, like, because DK is so big, it's difficult to get around Toon Link's projectiles, and, like, once you start getting around it, like, you get into a predictable pattern of, like, dodging them, and that's when Toon Link starts reacting and starts, like, punishing you for yeah, it. Yeah, 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 like, uh, Tigo especially will condition you to uh, pressure you on the shield. Like, uh, once he has that bomb and throw the bomb and you shield it, he pretty much conditions you to either just hold the shield or expect a roll and then just punish with a uh, forward smash or up smash. Yeah, and then one thing that, like, Toon Link's in general, but Tico especially does really well, is that once he's got you on the corner, shielding and stuff like that, he gets the bomb and he throws it, and he conditions you to the point where, like, he can cover every option because bomb can bounce off of shield and yeah. just stay there. Yeah, like, so either you take that bomb hit, and then get forward air. Or you get grabbed. Yeah, so, but like most of the time it's better just to take the grab because unless you're unless on you're the at high edge, percent yeah, and I, he back throws you, like you're fine. You're not going to die. But if he gets bomb confirmed in the fair, you're probably going to die. Yeah. Like, I mean, the back throw kills by the ledge, surprisingly, at like 110, 130. Yeah. Like, it, but it, anything before that, you're fine. Just take the grab. Chrome is also Duck Hunt, though, so he'll probably die around this percent. Yes. Right now, it's literally. Even in percentage, almost. Yeah. Uh, he was doing really, really well at the beginning. Chrome was. Like, he had a bunch of percent on Tico because he was staying in the corner and he was camping him, camping him out. Yeah. But then he started going in. And that's one of the things that, like, you can't really do against Tim Lee. Like, approaching him, especially when he has a bomb in hand, is really, really hazardous. So he got a lot of percent racked on. The only time it is safe to approach Link is really when he's pulling out the bomb. Exactly. And you they wanna... know that, so they're just going to jump away and pull it out. You want him to be above you, like this. Ooh. Oh man, if he would have waited. Yeah. Oh, but that still kills him. I, yeah. I, like, I was expecting that, like, you know, Tico would just come down faster and then he would fall into the up air. Yeah. Okay. But, like, the that, the main thing that you want to do is just keep Toon Link above you. Uh, keep him, like, in a mid range spot without a bomb so that you can punish him once he pulls that bomb. And then you got to kill him. Yeah. Because once he gets that rage and stuff, you don't want to get hit with rage fair. No, no, no. It, it hits like a truck. And, wow. One of the things that Duck Hunt does have, though, that uh, is actually kind of similar to Bayo, is that he has a frame one option to get out of setups. Like throwing out that can, frame one will knock him out of most setups. So he can get out of bomb uh, fair. Yeah, but right now, I think it would kill him. Uh, it depends on which way the can explosion sends him. If it sends him, like, to the other side of the stage, it won't. That was very close. I thought that would have been a confirmed back air, and with that rage, it might have killed. I, nah, I could be wrong, though. I don't, I don't know exactly. Oh, oh. Oh, that was close. It was a good thing that he backed off, because yeah. that dare probably would have killed him. Unless he, he like, um, checked it immediately. <laughs> okay, so... I think the explosion caught him on his DI a little bit because he could have lived that. Yeah, like cause it, it sent him a little. It changed his trajectory a little bit. Yeah, but uh, Chrome doing really well. Uh, keeping Tico on his back foot has a really large percentage lead. Oh, that was good. Yes. That was smart. Like once you once you get someone into the into the death percents, they have a bigger tendency to run up and shield than they used to do. Because they're scared. Yeah, they're scared. They don't want to die. So you can just run up and pretty much dominate them, like, will-wise. Oh, it's getting to the point where Jab might kill. Yeah. All right, he's looking for the up tilt. I, I, I mean, one thing, though, that could work against him is that Toon Link at this point is at max range. So yeah. you got to be careful about that. Oh, no, oh, that's it. there's the up That's it. Doggo right. takes round one. That was really good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Chrome, uh, this is his, his niche counter pick. Um, he picked him up. Originally for Rosalina because Rosalina DK is unwinnable. Um, <laughs> is it really that bad? Uh, Rosalina DK is probably worse than Ganon Rosa. Well, no, no, but is it worse than like Ness Rosa? 
Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and say something, and like people can flame me for it if they want to, but Ness Rosa is not that bad of a matchup. I mean, yeah, if the Ness knows how to use the double jump to avoid using the up B, yes, I can understand that. Well, it, it's not even the up B thing. Like Ness in general is gonna be dead off of stage, like if he has to up B regardless if you know how to edge guard him. Yes. And like Rosa will do that easily. The bigger thing is like Ness has really good options in neutral, and edge guards Rosa may be better than Rosa edge guards him because Rosa's uh, Rosa's her box goes above the stage when she up -bees, and Ness can down smash and hit her with that. Not to mention PK Thunder. Yeah. So like the matchup is closer to even than it actually like than people think it used to be. I suppose. I guess people actually start like they started learning the matchup. Yeah. Like it's it's definitely got the cheese more so on Rose's side than on Ness's side. So like by all means. So it can feel like it's a hard matchup, but like it it's really just a matter of don't be all stage and you will probably beat Rosalina. <laughs> so right now, uh, again, Chrome has a nice sizable lead of uh, seventy percent. Yeah, Tico's been uh, Tico's been holding forward a lot, just trying to get him. Oh, that's no, he's still living. Not enough. Oh, and that bomb sent that can the other way. But yeah, Tico's been uh, holding forward, like trying to get into Chrome's zone the whole time, and it's just not been working. I think he's been having too many drinks from the bar. But Chrome is definitely in bomb fair percent, especially with all this rage. Yes. So, oh, no, oh he missed he, it. He went for the bear there. Yeah. Like, isn't that a lot harder, but it kills much earlier? Um, It can mix up DI. Uh, I don't know if bear is actually stronger than fair, but a lot of the time you're always DIing for the bomb fair, and it'll just screw you up completely. And I didn't know that the shooter, the gunner, actually took a bomb to the face and didn't flinch. I didn't know, like, a few could take a bomb. Oh, my huh. goodness. Okay, 179 on that back here. I mean, uh, I guess that makes sense. I'm one saying, oh, no, Tico's becoming a bit too impatient right now. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, Duckman has a wall jump. Yeah, maybe one of the most... Uh, one of the most... Forgotten wall jumps? Like, it, it doesn't make sense that he has a wall jump. Yeah, I know. He's a dog. And, like, dogs can jump. But not but wall last jump. I, but last I checked, they couldn't like jump off the walls. Well, well, no, no, no. There, there are police training videos where they climb up the walls and then jump off from there. Okay. Yeah. But so like I, they, they shouldn't be able to. Oh man, that almost killed. Okay, maybe dogs can. Wall no, jump. no, no. Like I, I'll, I'll post up a video later for you, and like I'll show you. Like these are canine dogs, like police dogs that literally can do gymnastics uh, almost. It's amazing. So I guess in that sense, if you train them enough. I think the bigger thing that people don't realize about Duck Hunt is that he actually has a lot of frame traps. Yes, he does. He's got really odd aerial momentum, and his aerials, like, don't have a crazy amount of in lag on him. So if you miss an aerial, you can just, like, keep throwing out an aerial, and it'll probably get the uh, the air dodge. It, it will either, like, yeah, it'll get the air dodge, and it'll connect, and Tico finally gets the stock. But it's pretty uphill from here. But, like, uh, going back. Shit, I lost my train of thought. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, um, and here's where this percent starts racking up. Yep, even those cans are gonna be scary. Oh, yeah, Chrome is—he's feeling the victory, so he's getting more aggressive. And this is where like Tico's gonna no, up tilt's not gonna kill you. No, no, it's close to. Oh man, that ball, that can though. <laughs> That's just just blow a, the can up. It's such a silly interaction. Oh, he, the dog cut the ball. Oh. oh, oh, that's it. Oh, the bear. Okay, without that platform there, he uh, might have connected. He might have connected. But maybe. I don't think it would have killed though. No, it probably wouldn't have killed. But it would have put him in a position where he had to like get back onto the stage, and then Tico could get his set uh, setups going. God, we're, we're Tim Link has tiny hands. Uh, looking at that animation, it looks like he has like made of Play-Doh almost. <laughs> okay, so characters that I wish were not in Smash: Toon Link. <laughs> 